Hey Masters, today I want to create a video for you about how to integrate Playwright with a linter and code formatter. The one that I choose is Rough. Rough is an extremely fast Python linter and code formatter written in Rust. So my plan today is just to show you how you can integrate this Rough library in your project and also how to add it to your CI um, workflow and make sure that everything it's okay based on this linter all right so let's go ahead and take a look of how it works okay masters just to give you a, a quick overview of what is going on in this project this is a repository totally public you can access it i'm gonna try to leave this in the description of this video it is playwright pycon this is the name of the repository basically this repository was created to well show the pycon to 2024 in colombia how to use playwright with pycon all right so um if I show you the basic structure of the project here, I have the requirements.txt with Playwright, PyTest, and PyTest Playwright as dependencies, right? Under the tests folder, I have different test files over here. In one, I'm just using simple Playwright commands, page that go to, a page that get by role to find an element, a, I don't know, maybe an, a command to press enter, right? And then make a simple assertion over here. This is the structure that I'm trying to use uh, for the project, then I started to use page object model. So you can see a pages folder here with a simple class with the with the things that I need for this class or page object. And also I tried to use the well, some features here to demonstrate how to use features with Playwright. If you want to access this project and you want to run this, you just have to come here to the readme. You're going to see all the requirements that you need to have. Also how to install the virtual environment to install uh, the requirements and I want to show you that this is working right uh, well so I'm gonna clear my console I'm gonna run this command let me see if yeah you can see this in the screen python dash amp pytest tests and I'm gonna run it headless so I just want to run this particular command here you can see that everything is working fine and all the tests are passing so if you want to take a look of the project, if you're interested in that, please just go ahead and take a look. I just wanted to let you know that. And now let's continue with the integration between Playwright and Rough. Okay, All right, masters, let's understand how to integrate Rough with Playwright in this case. All right, so it is pretty simple. You're going to have to install this package, the Rough, using the pip install Rough command if you want to, or you can also add it in your requirements.txt in your project. So here it is for me. My case to install it is pretty simple. pip install dash r requirements.txt and I have all the requirements that I need for my project together with Playwright, PyTest and PyTest Playwright for this particular project, okay? Um, here you have uh, some hints about how to use it, okay? I'm gonna, uh, well, get through this documentation in a few seconds, but then you have an important part here, which is the configuration. You're gonna need to create one of these files pyproject.toml or rough.toml or rough.rough.toml. Those are the files that we need to create to create the configurations for the rough um, plugin, okay? Inside of that, you have to uh, enter, well, what you want to validate in your lint, <laughs> basically. In my case, um, well, I added a simple lines here. Uh, let me show you this. I have the pyproject.toml here, and you can see that I added the tool that rough, rough uh, configuration, and these are the rules that I'm following. Um, please go ahead and take a look of what is going on here, uh, but these are the configurations that I created. Okay, lin.select, here you have all the configurations, and I'm just ignoring this particular role here. Okay, that's it. Now that you have this requirement set up and the py, pyproject.toml uh, file here, you're ready to go. Oh, I also wanted to show you something, guys. Uh, well, Rough has uh, an extension in VS Code if you're using this uh, code editor here, okay? So here it is, Rough. If you wanna install it, it is gonna, well, give you insights of the linting errors that you're entering in real time, okay? So it is a good, uh, important thing if you wanna take a look and install. Let me give you an insight. For instance, I'm gonna uh, create an example for you guys of an unused import, okay? So I'm gonna uncomment this, and you're gonna see that it is telling me that PyTest is not, uh, here's the error, PyTest imported but unused. 
So this is Rob telling us that what is going on with this uh, package? Why, why are you importing this and you are not using it? So with this Visual Studio Code extension, it is telling us this immediately. So it is a kind of cool extension if you want to try it out. All right, masters, I just showed you that we can use the VS Code extension to have like real time insights of what is wrong or what could be improved in our code. But let's imagine that you don't want to uh, use the extension and you want to have a validation using the command line interface and using the library that we just installed in our project. So it is pretty simple. You can do it in two different ways. You can do it in more. You can go ahead and check the documentation, but uh, I want to show you a couple of them. The first one is using the command rough check. This is going to be like the baseline. And then you can specify the file that you want to check. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to run this and you can see that it found one error. It is telling me that this particular line of code, this one, okay, uh, found that PyTest was imported, but it wasn't used. <laughs> All right, this is the error, the same one that we could saw in our VS Code extension inside, but now using the command line interface. And it is giving us, a, well, the inside of what is going on. There is another command that I want to show you, which is the same rough check by baseline, but now using a single dot. It is going to check all the files that we have in our project and make sure that everything is fine or not. <laughs> okay, so you can see the same error here because, well, it is checking every single test that I have in my project. So I just wanted to let you know um, how to use both commands. Uh, all right, that's awesome. Also, you can use another command, guys, which is, let me see, do, 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 dash dash fix. Let me try this. You can see that uh, we're using the fix flag here. Uh, basically, it deleted and the unused, the unused import. And that's awesome because we can fix errors using the double flag fix. Personally, I would like to do it manually <laughs> because, well, maybe I, I am deleting, deleting something that I wanted to use, but you can use the fix flag as well. All right, that's awesome. Let's continue with more examples of where linked uh, or rough can help us to check the link issues. All right, let's, let's continue. Okay, masters, the second example is when you create a variable, but it is not used. So I'm going to create a var here, a simple bar. Okay, well, first of all, it is telling me that it, there, there is an unexpected identification by pylon, so it is right. I'm going to just move it here and it is going to work. And then it is giving us, it is providing us a rough error. Local variable var is assigned but never used. So uh, you can see what is going on. Also, you can view the problem here with more details. And if I run the command rough check, it is going to tell us that the variable var is assigned but never used. So here is another example, all right? <clears throat> uh, let me just comment this and let's continue with another example. Example number three, identification error. Okay, I'm sorry, this is not the right. Okay, so you, you can see again the unexpected identification and if I run the rough check, you can see that it is telling us that unexpected identification error is there. So that's awesome as well. I think in this case, uh, Ralph is helping us with a, a, a good catch over here if you want to try it out. Uh, the example number four is missing import. Okay, so let me see. Let me show you this. In this assert, I'm using a OS here, right? This OS is an import that I'm missing. So if I run check this, you can see, well, in this case, it is telling us that the, the undefined name is OS. And well, we are missing this, or th th there is something that it is not defined. So that's awesome. Uh, let's continue with example number five. And it is a multiple statement on one line. Okay, let me show you this. Let's imagine that I want to use a couple of commands in Playwright, and both are valid. Page go to, it is going to visit a particular website. And then we have an assertion just to make sure that the page title uh, is example domain. All right, it, it should work. Uh, but uh, we should have a multiple statement issue in this particular line. So let me run the rough check and it is, I have to save the file and I'm going to run this again. You can see multiple statements on one line, semicolon, after the semicolon. So if I move this to the next line, 
and I run the, the check, you can see that all checks passed. And that's awesome. All right. That's that's awesome. Let's continue with the next example. Hey, let me see. Do, 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 do. Beautiful. Example number six. Let's imagine that we have a trailing white a white space like over here. Okay. Hey, let me ident this correctly. And you can see that I'm gonna left a trailing white space over here. Okay. <laughs> you can see it because of the of the VS Code extension that I installed. Trailing white space. Uh, and if I run the command as well, it is gonna identify it and we can fix it using well double dash fix. There it is, it is working fine. And well, those are some examples that I wanted to show you guys. Obviously, there could be more of them, and you can see all all the details of uh, more examples in the documentation. So I think it's cool to have this linter integrated in our project, but now let's add this validation in our CI uh, well execution using GitHub Actions. Let me show you how you can do it. All right, masters, let's uh, integrate rough in our CI um, workflow using GitHub Actions. You can see that I have this YAML file, the playwright.yaml file under the that GitHub workflows path, okay? And I have a couple of jobs in that file. I have the first one, rough lint check, which is the important one. And then the second one is test execution. Here, I'm just setting up everything to run uh, my tests in GitHub Actions, okay? So if you wanna take a look, you can come here and check it out. Uh, and the rough lint check job has only one particular a, well, a simple configuration. It is gonna run on Ubuntu latest, and it is gonna check out using the actions check out, and then it is gonna well use the rough action package over here, and that's it. When you well make a push request or a PR in this case, because that's the way I configure it. So if you go to the actions, you're gonna see that for every single PR or commit or push, it is gonna execute the rough lint check. And here you can see that all the lint check passed and everything is working fine. Also, I can show you an example of where there was an issue. <laughs> okay, let me show you this. Rough lint check failed. And if I open this, you can see the lock. There was uh, an imported but, but unused a library or line of code over here, right? And you can see the error. And, and you can see that this is working fine in GitHub Actions as well. So masters, I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me in the future to use a different lint library, <laughs> right? You can see here different ones, out of flake, flake eight, pi flakes, and so on. I think this is a, a very fast Python linter. Also, you can see some testimonial, testimonials. For instance, Sebastian Ramirez, creator of, of Fast API. Here, here is uh, he's saying something pretty awesome and and more people very important people telling that draft is amazing right so yeah that was my goal and you can access this particular repo for free right playwright PyCon, and i'll try to leave the description as well in the uh, over here also guys i wanted to let you know that i created a discord server okay to a media software testing and my plan is to well try to create a community here and try to respond your questions um, when when it is possible for me. So here you're gonna have a software testing channel or kind of area with web testing, mobile testing, and I'll be trying to add more information for you here. The idea is to talk between us and have a beautiful community in the future. So I'll try to leave the Discord description as well in the comment section of the video. So thank you very much, masters, and I hope to see you in the next one. Hit the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.